Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. I had to come over on Powers today, so I might as well zip on down Tut to the Salvation Army. So I don't make it over this way very much, so I'm kind of excited. And in a few hours, I'm going to end up at my booth. And I'm meeting some viewers, now friends. It's going to be fun. Let me get situated and I'll get started. I'm going to start at Hard Goods. And if I have enough time, I might breeze through some clothing. This thrift store, Salvation Army, has a lot of clothing. Hang on, I'll turn around. Even more than the Goodwills in my town. So it's a lot to go through. So, not sure. <laughs> I'll start with this special display in the middle. Oh, is that Bristol glass? That looks like a piece of Bristol glass with some hand painting on it. 374? Yeah, that's okay. Coming close for you for a minute. Real th kind of thin, you know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I see a hole. Wait a minute. Oh, man. Seriously? I might just keep that for myself then, or just put a really good price on it. I think that can be salvaged. Yes, you That's a did. good price. Oh, that's pretty. Some fused glass. 774. Let's see whose it is. It does not look like mass produced. Got to kind of turn these different ways. Oh, there it is. I found it. 2002 Jerry Goodman. Hmm, it kind of has Christmassy vibes, doesn't it? I might look up that name. Because it's 774, y'all. So, you know, prices are going up. Let's go over here to the red aisle. Keep one eye on my cart, you guys. It's behind me. I got one eye on it, sort of. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, we will take that for $4.75. I think that's what it said. That looks like a floral base, so with flash. I think I can see the flash coming off from here. And these, that's a plastic one. Those are just molded. Even when they're glass, they're just slumped over a mold in a kiln. Happy, happy. This is adorable. Definitely. Right? So I tend to do the end caps first where I feel like they've kind of tried to curate some better pieces. So, um, so we'll do the end caps front and back and oops, hang on. I see something. Yes, window pane. These are typically just imported, but the window pane is what makes a difference. They sell consistently. I keep a lot for myself. This looks like new glass. It is. It's pretty though. New glass with flashed color. It tends to come off after a while. And if you don't wash carefully, Okay, I need to back up for a minute and get back over here to this one. There's something I wanted to look at, these little horsies. $1.29. Oh, that one has a broken ear. Let me see what else is wrong. Some paint loss. Darn. Let me see this one again. I might still get those, at least this one, for $1.29. Well, there wasn't a lot to show you guys. I'm not trying to leave you out, but I don't want to just be like, ordinary, ordinary, blah, 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 chipped, cracked. <laughs> so I'm trying to find something exciting. And here's all the clear glass. I mean, there's a couple 
potential pieces, but hmm. no, I'm wrong. Okay, let's turn around. I do like these, but you can get these new these days now. And I think that is a new one. It's got plastic around the, you know, for the stopper. But it's only three. 47 or 374 but let's turn around I did see on one of these end caps um, some Franciscan but everybody picks that stuff up and there's a lot of it at my marketplace and that's where I would put it so I tend to just go ahead and pass Ikea I thought it had Scandinavian slightly vintage vibes so it's just an Ikea update these are cool. There's no name on it, but those are cool. These look interesting. Oh, heavy. Oh, USA. These are vintage. USA pottery. I'm going to untape it and check each one, but yeah, we'll do that. We will do those. Okie doke. I'll be back in a second. Next section. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. That's a cute little vintagey item. One seventy nine. Yeah, we'll do that. That's cute. Tape measure. Let's see what's in this box. First tooth, first curl, missing a tag so you can name it whatever you want. <laughs> that is hilarious. Minnie Mouse has her own Hollywood star. This thing has been here for months. Remember, months and months ago, I'm like, what could we do to upcycle this? It doesn't even have a price tag on it anymore. <laughs> I'm like, what could we do with that? Oh, there it is, 424. There it is, 424. <laughs> I should probably go ahead and save that. It's been here forever. Every once in a while, I take a moment to look through records. Nobody's looking through them. So I did all of them, but this one. Wait a minute, I did all of them, but this one. What's this sticking out? Uh, Aloha, Aloha. Um, <laughs> now this is not my genre. I don't know it very well. I just know bits and pieces like sometimes obscure Hawaiian music can be very interesting to someone. But we'll look through. It's, I just have one hand so it's going to be hard. A lot of these in these other tubs were like German and just things I have never heard of. The Mills Brothers, okay, I do know that. Love Story. Letterman, I think I know that one. Know that, I've heard of that. I don't know, a little before. Oh, now there's one I know. <laughs> Sesame Street. <laughs> Hang on. Yay, Sesame Street. I just like to look through. Sometimes there's cool covers too. So, oh, see, folk dance fun. Sing with Doris Day. <laughs> Square dance. Ouch. Um, so more Sesame Street. Funny, funny. Aerobic rope skipping tunes and routines, rhythms and rhymes, and streamer ribbon activities. <laughs> Who knew? Back in the day, you needed all that. Oh my gosh, the DeFranco. I don't even know what happened to them. They had a couple one hit songs. Okay. I don't know. Oh, what is that? James Gang. Hang on. Jesse Come Home, the James Gang. I've never heard of some of these people at all. Okay, okay, okay. I'll show you what I did pull out from these other ones that have like a lot of foreign music and classical. Lots of Bob Dylan's greatest hits. Empty. Okay, anyways. Pulled this out. Oh my gosh, I grew up listening to this. 
isn't I don't know if I'm gonna say it right Heinji isn't that that little German I mean he's not a kid anymore but my mom would play it I think he was real popular in the 60s or 70s and that's and he sang as a little kid he might still be alive I don't know thought this would be fun blast from the past for some of you the Ronco compilations this one actually has a lot of good ones the Hughes Corporation Mac Davis oh Redbone come and get your love oh my gosh 1974 the streak who remembers that of course we know um, Sweet Home Alabama taking care of business BTO that was a good brand a good band I listened to them in the 70s and 80s Don oh rock the boat that was good um, Wildwood weed oh Jim Stafford remember Jim Stafford where did, where did he go there and then he also did another one that was funny in the 70s um, oh gosh I can't think of it something about a spider and it was like a, he sang like a funny poem Okay, Mac, Mac Davis, my mom loved that. My mom loved him when he had his variety show. And this I grew up with, listening to Melanie. And I found another one. That was another one of my mom's favorites. Tom Jones. This one I want to look at the graphic. I'll set that aside. But yeah, Melanie. I think, didn't she get to sing at Woodstock? Or either um, Candles in the Rain, which is really called Lay Down great great song either she was in it or she sang this song or she wrote it about her experience being at Woodstock most people know her for something that did play on the radio a lot which was um, brand new key the roller skating song but she was a 60s 70s folk art and then of course Buffy oh my gosh I've never even seen this album you know, I learned this from my mom, so this is Buffy when she was younger. She's only like five foot two. And other people, I think, got did better singing some of her songs she wrote because, you know, she was Native American, Canadian American, I don't know. And so she didn't get enough, you know, it was hard at that time for people of, oh, I hate all these terms people of certain heritage of certain skin colors it's so weird to even try to figure out the right words um, to make it in the industry even though they were awesome okay like Elvis Presley sang some songs that were hits that were originally sung by what we I guess I can say black people I don't like saying none of that I'm mixed Original broadcast cast, Miss Liberty. <laughs> That's kind of cute. It's just a cover to something, but if that was a little cleaner and a little more interesting, I'm not going to cover up Buffy. <laughs> I don't even know how much albums are. I might get, I might get this Buffy and this Hind G for my mom. She's got an old school record player. We do too. We do too. All right, carry on. Well, you guys, that's all I got today. And I got a discount, so it came to $13 for those items. I'm going to zip on down the road to the Goodwill. I'll see you guys in a few minutes or a few seconds, okay? Okay, I made it. Goodwill, just down the street, because I am over on Powers. Let's head over to Hard Goods. I think I see something already. I have been collecting the cabbage or lettuce <laughs> dishes from Portugal. These are eau de Gary, but they are vintage and they will match. So we're going to do that first. First item in the cart. Yes. There's a deer. I do like all my deer, but I'm not, I don't think I want that litter. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's peek way down there. This is someone's home project, you guys. This one's missing the lid. That, I think, is a copycat. I can't tell. That's probably going to be an Avon, isn't it? $2.99. I don't think I have that critter. 
That's not bad. Let's add that to my Avon Critter collection. Before the price goes up. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. There's so many of them. There's a little deer. It needs its eyes painted, but how much is it? $1.99? I think I'll get that too for my Christmas deers. I'll upcycle that a little bit because it's for myself. Are those the ones that go on the tree? Oh yes, you can hang those on your off your tree. Now these do look like hobbyists though. No, oh, Japan it says. Yeah, okay, I sold the last ones. They were better painted, but I think I'll still get these. Because they're tree climbers, so you can put them on your wall or on a tree outside. They're super cute like that. Oh yes, there's some Jeremy Diller Raku. Awesome. $3.99. That's the most I've ever paid for a little piece, but it's worth it. They probably did that because it's new with tags. I don't remember who bought the last one. It's been a few months. But there will be another nice small piece of Raku for someone that's shippable for the next live sale. Actually, I've got one coming up. Well, I'm going to do every Wednesdays now, so... Kate and Kathy will be coming up next. No clue who that is or what that is. It's tin. Feels very modern, so it must be some new character. <laughs> now remember, sometimes things look a little better to you guys than me up close, okay? I do see that little shell for 129. I think I'll get that. Okay, on the flip side, starting with end caps like I usually do. Hmm. Let's check this bunny. Hobbyist piece. That's cute though. I think all of these look like hand painted at home, still kind of perfecting their technique, shall we say. Some resin ones. And I see some milk glass, but pass on that particular type right now. Oh, I found something. Hang on, it looks on that vintage ashtray. Found something. Good shape, probably Odagiri or something. I don't know, but it's good. That is good. Let's cruise over here. <laughs> Little glass octopuses. Oh my gosh, how much are that? $2.99? <laughs> Those are cute for your glasses. Drinking glasses at a party. Oh, that's cute. How much is that? Let's see. What? Five, six ninety-nine. Ouch. Nope. No can do for that because I wouldn't sell that for that much more. Not a sale color either. An acrylic. I don't know what that is. A skull or an ice cream? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, next one. See some Avon. I don't think I have this color combination. Not sure. A couple people have bought me some. $1.99 just in case. I do like the owl. That looks like crystal. How much? $3.99? Oh, it's a... Uh, hmm. I don't want to say Freemason. That's not right for that symbol, is it? I, I don't know. I can't remember. But anyways, regardless, I don't think I need that. I don't see any cut glass. I sold that before in green. I can't remember whose it is. Anchor Hawking or something. Let's check the price on the butter dish. $3.99. I 
I only sell these for like ten, twelve dollars at the booth. So I better pass. Do not need any more swans. Oh my gosh. Do not. Oh hi Maxine. She's a little bit older character. $3.99. Don't worry, be crabby. Mm. That's why I'm not a big Maxine fan. Believe it or not, I'm not even a Golden Girls fan. They were just, man, too snarky. So mean to Rose. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't mind a little sophisticated, you know, crack now and then, but just blatant snarkiness and sarcasm, low hanging fruit type stuff. Nah. That's cute. Oh, there's a hula girl. $1.99. It's not bad. It's the kind that will shake on your dashboard. But I think I already have a couple, so. Okay. Sorry, Maxine. I didn't mean to throw shade at you, girl. <laughs> Went through all of this and didn't really see a lot. There's a lot of ribbon though. Some of it's new, some of it is a little older. So I did, let me turn around and get this on my cart. I did find some authentically older though, retro vintage. Made in USA 1974 rickrack for Kristen for her projects. But that was about it that I felt like I wanted today. There's some display fixtures, quite a few actually. Just looking for older stuff or anything helpful for shipping or cute little giveaways. But I did find this. <laughs> A little Wicko Jam type owl with an acrylic towel holder. It says Marbella on there. That's adorable. $4.99. Ouch. Okay. I'm not going to complain. But I did find these all tossed in so I pulled them out and put them over here even though they don't really belong but it's better than behind me all look at them getting all crumpled I don't know why these aren't more popular I think Kate says follow that bug vintage says the Japanese ones have potential but the Korea ones are a hard sell but with all the people in the vintage community doing dolls and stuff that just seems like such a good base for projects like that and with anime being so popular the last, what, 20 some more years, you would think. Well, I had to put this back. I didn't notice. When I looked closer, it says $9.99. <laughs> so, I'm going to put that back for now. I breeze through real quick. R rounder tops, not much. I'm kind of in a hurry because I'm going to meet some friends at my booth and restock. But I think I did finally find a small enough piece for my booth to put my crochet blankets in. It's lightweight. It's only $8. It's not brown. I think that'll work. So, mm, moderately good day at the two thrift stores, you guys. But anyways, I'm going to head down to... Oh, that wasn't there a while ago. It's a flower frog. Someone made it with fused glass. I'll take that. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you had a little bit of fun anyways.